Hi and welcome. In this tutorial we'll look at configuring an access point for the first time within Nebula. We will look at setting up an SSID. This is the name that an access point will broadcast and the name that you will select on a client device in order to join a wireless network. We will also walk through applying security to the SSID by applying a password also known as a WPA2 key. When this feature is applied, clients' devices trying to connect to your wireless SSID will be prompted to enter a password in order to join your network. So let's get started. Once logged in, from the dashboard, select AP and SSIDs. The SSID configuration screen will then be displayed. We will then enter the SSID name in the name field. The SSID name limit is 32 characters, but most devices connecting will not display the full 32 characters in length. So please take this into consideration when selecting an SSID name. For our example, we will name our SSID Wi-Fi name. OK, so we've added a Wi-Fi name. Now it's time to add some security. By selecting Edit Settings under Authentication, we'll be prompted to save our current configuration before proceeding to the authentication screen. Now we are at the authentication screen, we must now select the authentication method. By default, the security is set to open, so no password is required when logging onto the wireless. We also have a variety of security options, like the ability to authenticate against an external radius, as well as utilizing a built-in radius within Nebula called Nebula Cloud Authentication. But for this tutorial, we will use one of the most common methods of authentication called WPA2 pre-shared key. Once selected, you will be prompted to enter the pre-shared key, often referred to as the wireless password. Also note that the password is case sensitive. Once completed, scroll to the bottom of the page and press save. We should now return to the SSID configuration page by selecting AP from the top menu bar and going down to SSIDs. Now that we are back at the SSID configuration page, we should quickly mention some of the other features listed. We have the ability to quickly access settings like enabling a captive portal, shown here. Here, further down the page, we have the ability to select the radio band that the SSID will broadcast on. The configuration options allow you to select the use of both bands by selecting concurrent, or the use of a single band by selecting 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz. Because we often use a mix of devices, concurrent operation is the most commonly used. When using concurrent, devices will often have a tendency to select the strongest signal, which is normally the 2.4 GHz band. This is often slower in performance as well as having to contend with interference caused by non-compliant wireless devices like microwaves and Bluetooth not to mention other access points also operating in the 2.4 GHz spectrum. For your convenience, you have the option to broadcast a single SSID and let the access point carry out the selection process by enabling the feature Band Select. This feature will ensure that devices supporting the 5 GHz will join the correct band and the older generation devices will still be able to connect without any effort needed. Below this, we have the option to add a VLAN. This is used to tag traffic and allow traffic segregation on the same network. By default, the VLAN ID will show as one to represent untagged traffic. VLANs are commonly used in networks and are part of a standard used by all networking vendors, but you must check that your infrastructure, like a switch and or gateway, support VLANs in order to use this function. The final feature listed here is the ability to apply a rate limit for each device connected to the SSID. By dragging the slider, you can apply the rate limit for download and upload speed. We have now completed the configuration for this SSID. To create another SSID for an additional network, select Show All from the top and repeat the steps by customizing the configuration to your needs. Thanks for watching and be sure to watch our other tutorials on Nebula. We're Zysel and we're your networking ally.